Hey everyone and welcome back to day three of Vlogmas. I hope you're all having a lovely week and are enjoying the Christmas lights which we're all finding all around our streets now. I'm feeling more festive already because my neighbour two doors down to the left has so many Christmas decorations up in the garden and when I looked out my window I can see them all and honestly it makes such a big difference. I, I feel more festive like living through their decorations so I hope everyone's starting to feel more in a festive spirit even though 2020 has been so so crazy. Yesterday I didn't upload a video but I did record a clip which I'm going to insert just after this because we did a trial run of Christmas dinner and if anyone didn't know I am vegetarian so we did a trial run of vegetarian Christmas dinner and let me tell you it was so so nice we got this thing from um I think it must have been like Asda or Tesco and it was like corn but when you slice it it's kind of like a sort of substitute for chicken and it was like really really interesting and yeah it was like it was good I think that we might use something different on actual Christmas day though because it was just like good to try it but honestly if you're looking for like meat free alternatives there are actually so many out there corn does some really really good stuff so definitely do check them out because if you're looking to go vegetarian or if you are vegetarian and are thinking what am I gonna have to substitute like the turkey corn is the answer let me tell you so for vlogmas today i'm going to do some festive stuff during the day i was working had a lot of meetings so that's what i did during the daylight hours now it's really really dark even though it's like only 20 past four in the afternoon but for the afternoon i'm going to be doing some fun things so i'm going to bake i'm going to do some festive baking but because this year has been in lockdown i'm going to nod to lockdown baking so basically i'm going to do Christmas spiced banana bread because oh my goodness banana cake banana bread however you want to say it I feel like you say banana bread but it is technically a banana cake I'm gonna do that I'm gonna add cinnamon to it because I feel like that'll make it like really crispy so that's what I'm gonna do and if you saw my first vlogmas you'll also know that I am so so busy with Etsy at the moment like my shop is popping <laughs> so I'll be doing some Etsy orders tonight I'll be trying to pack some if they've dried because I tie dye Nike socks which I'll link in the description box for you if you want to check out my shop that'd be great. Um, I tie dyed quite a lot yesterday and they're currently just drying so if they dry in time I will pack some tonight and get some people's orders shipped tomorrow and I need to make some other ones today as well and what else am I going to do? I really need to try this matcha green latte that I've been talking about I definitely need to try that and also, I was going to show you some PR that recently arrived because I got some really nice things from a brand called Only Curls, so let me just go and get that. So this is the really cute little box that I got from a lovely brand called Only Curls. And I feel like for Christmas, for a girly girl, a curly girl as well, this will be so, so good. So do check them out. I'll show you what's inside it, obviously. So inside, there's lots of really lovely hair accessories. There's this cute little badge as well that says Curl Gang for all the curly girls out there which is mega cute. I feel like badges were like such a thing when I was like a child. I used to have a badge maker and I used to love like printing my own photographs and putting them in the badges. So I feel like this is mega fun. It's like such a throwback to like the early 2000s. I used to have a denim bag that was literally just covered in badges. So when I walked, it was just like jangling with badges. So it's kind of reminded me of that and I absolutely love it. So this is really, really cute. And then also there's these absolutely stunning clips. They're so nice. They're in a full tortoiseshell effect and love it it's like a snap hair clip and they look really really good i love an oversized clip i also love an oversized scrunchie you know all the things that are oversized so cute and then there's this really cute shell comb which i think is really really good these are more gentle on hair than like using a brush all the time especially if you brush um comb your hair when it's wet this is good for like running through like serums and like leave-in conditioners so very very nice and also I love the um like the effect of it it's like really pretty and iridescent and also this is what I'm super excited about because this is a pineapple protector so basically if you have curly hair so it doesn't get like matted or frizzy or anything when you go to sleep you can fasten it into like a loose pineapple on your head and then you can fix it there overnight with a pineapple protector and this is gorgeous this is made out of like I think it's satin it's so so nice and basically you just pop this over and it protects your hair which is great like it's a really good idea I think that it's such an effective thing to do like so you don't get frizzy and then you don't have to use heat on it to straighten it and that kind of thing so very very fun indeed so I'm gonna try this because I feel like even on straight hair like mine 
it'll stop it from getting like static and stuff so I'm looking forward to trying this so thank you very much to only Carls for sending me that so first things first I think what I'm going to go down to and do now is actually do some baking because I feel like it's been the longest time since I actually did some baking so let's go and do that also I just thought I'd share with you this really nice lip duo that I'm really enjoying using at the moment so I'm really enjoying this from Clinique it's a pep start pout perfecting balm and it's in this really cute like baby pink shade and it's just so so nice so hydrating I feel like so many lip balms just sit on the surface but this actually really really absorbs in and really like plumps up your pout and it's got a really really nice soft color to it as well and I've really been enjoying this as well this is a lip crayon from NYX and it's in nude pink and it's really really good it's just like a regular pencil you just sharpen it like a normal pencil and this is a gorgeous natural neutral nude toned pink so I feel like if you want to like naturally enhance the shape size of your lips and you know do so without it like looking like really heavy makeup this is really really perfect I definitely recommend this now I'm just going to go and actually start the baking. I feel like the last thing I actually baked was quite literally over a month ago, which is crazy because baking is literally like one of my favourite hobbies. But this last month has probably been one of the fastest months of my life. It's gone so fast. I've been doing so many things, so many different things as well. Like I am quite literally spinning many, many plates and they all require a lot of care and attention. And I've been devoting that care and attention to all of them. So there's been like not even a moment to sit down and breathe basically for me. So I am super, super busy, but I'm really happy as well because I feel like that's like the way that I actually function at my best. I don't know if you find this, but I actually find that the busier I am, the more I can fit in. So for me, this has actually been really perfect. And I feel like as well, we're heading towards 2021. I feel like it's gonna be a good year. The world's gonna be healthier. Everyone's gonna get vaccinated. I feel like I can go back to a more normal life, doing the things that we all knew and loved before. I'm just looking forward to like going shopping, seeing people again, not being confined to the four walls of my house. I'm really just looking forward to just doing regular stuff again and also doing some very new exciting things as well. So without further ado, let's go start baking. Elsa Grease, chocolate digestive, 100% one of the best things I've ever created. Oh, so true. So this is my little baking setup and I'm going to be making some cinnamon spice banana bread because that'll be nice and festive so I'm looking forward to making that and I think it'll be really really nice because banana bread oh my goodness if it's done well it's like literally the best thing but I do feel like the key to it is not doing it too banana-y. So when I was making the banana bread over the first lockdown which feels like ages ago but literally it feels like things haven't changed at all since then. I was actually using just one banana but today I'm only going to use this much because this much was already in the fridge because sometimes fun fact I like to put bananas in the fridge because then they taste much better on cereal so if you like to have like a fruity breakfast definitely put it in the fridge it definitely makes such a big difference and um, so I'm just going to use like it's quite a big banana so I'm just going to use like about two thirds of it and then I'm also going to use some milk chocolate chips because these are so so good in banana cake honestly you will love it if you try this and also what do you call it do you call it banana bread or banana cake because technically it's like made the same I feel like the recipe itself is actually a cake, but I think it sounds like more American to say banana bread. So that's what I'm gonna call it. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I feel like it's been months since I made this, so looking forward to doing it right now. So I will go ahead and put you on a little time lapse and let's get festive baking. So excited. Techno tree, which I'm also loving. 
we may hit bright as you can tell so the cake is now in the oven and i am so excited to have a slice because like i was saying I haven't baked for a month so i'm really really looking forward to this because honestly especially around christmas personally i find nothing beats a bit of home baking it just makes the house smell christmassy which is like really important to me like i just love the place to look christmassy smell christmassy and then it helps me to feel christmassy so yeah for me this is like a good step towards feeling you know more festive and then this evening i'm probably going to i've got some emails i need to send but after that i am going to unwind i'm going to have a nice bath i'm going to use some festive bath stuff got some really nice stuff from lush which i'm going to use i don't know if anyone else has tried it but it's called once upon a time and it smells like spiced apple oh it is so good definitely try it if you go shopping to lush because it's so so nice it would be a really excellent stocking filler as well and yeah i'm just probably gonna have a movie night and just chill a little bit and before i like go and do other things the evening i just thought i'd sit down a little bit and talk to you a little bit about um mindfulness because i know that over this whole lockdown period it's taken its toll on literally everybody and i feel like being mindful is really something which we can afford to pay a little bit more time effort and attention to now that we are sort of not locked in as much anymore as i know restrictions were lifted slightly but i feel as though it's been a difficult year for everybody and you know taking a moment to give yourself like a little bit of extra tlc a little bit of self-care in whatever way that you feel you do that best so maybe it's you know putting aside 45 minutes and having a nice bubble bath and making yourself feel like luxuriated from head to toe and using some nice products and pampering your body a bit like that's a brilliant way to do some self-care and it'll be good for your body and your mind that's the thing so i feel like definitely take some time to like look after yourself like maybe go go for an early morning walk like getting some fresh air is so important because i feel like with the situation that everyone's been through it's like been the whole year basically i feel like it started in like march personally like i haven't hardly been anywhere i've been like at home and i'm like working at home and everything can sort of you know it, it gets to a point where it's too much for everyone like you need to blow off steam and doing things whilst safe at home is like kind of the only option that's been there like i understand leisure facilities and stuff have opened again but i know not everyone feels comfortable to go to those places at the moment until they're vaccinated which is absolutely fine like i'm personally one of those people i won't be going to the gym for example until everyone's vaccinated because my household's been shielding so i feel as though like there's lots of things that people can do to look after themselves so for me personally i like to get some fresh air i feel like it's super important so i'll go for an early morning walk that's really nice for me like it helps me to get some fresh air before it's like really busy outside as well um i go and like look at the countryside because i live near a field which is like very lucky for me um and then i just like take a deep breath and just be mindful and just think of all the things that are going well because there's so much to still be grateful for i mean there's been so much amazing news that like we will all be able to have a vaccine really soon which is like such a relief and i've also been thinking about all the stuff that i'm looking forward to doing once this is all over or more under control so i'm just like really looking forward to being able to travel a little bit go and see some new places i'm looking forward to going to london so do let me know how you've been feeling over this like crazy 2020 you can leave me a comment in the description box i'll get back to you don't feel like you have no one to like reach out to you can like leave me a little comment and i'll respond so yeah space with people it does make a big difference to both them and you so yeah just be like mindful of other people and like what they might be feeling like as well that's the evening i'm now gonna go and just what am i gonna do I'm just trying to reorganize my day I'm going to go and send some emails and then I think I'm going to start winding down and then I'm going to have to decorate this banana loaf. So I think I'm going to give it like a bit of a chocolate covering and then sprinkle on some of the chocolate chips on the top of it as well because that'll be really, really nice. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do a little taste test because, you know, if you bake something, you've got to do a taste test. It's just kind of like something you've got to do. <laughs> so I'm going to do that as well. So let's go and get started on a little bit of a relaxation evening. So you might have been able to see this behind me this is where i dry my etsy shop things so these are all the nike socks that i tie dyed yesterday and they're currently drying oh my goodness they look so nice i'm so excited to package these up for everyone they've worked so so beautifully they're so nice and yeah they're going to be going to dry in the airing cupboard very soon but i'm so happy with them these look beautiful and for christmas like i feel like they're just such beautiful gifts so yeah 
Love these. Also just popping into the kitchen now to see how the cake is doing. Oh my God, it looks so good. It's starting to rise. I can see her bubbling. Oh my goodness, yum. So I know I just said I was gonna chill for the rest of the evening, but actually I cannot do that yet because I have to make lots of my Etsy orders. So I'm actually gonna start doing some tie dyeing now instead. So yeah, I'm just gonna prepare the kitchen because I pretty much take over the entire kitchen when I do my tie dye. Like sometimes people will be coming in, they're like, we need to make dinner. And I'll be like, no, no, <laughs> you cannot make dinner. I'm in the middle of tie dye. So I'm going to start doing that before it's too late because at the moment it's only just gone six o'clock. So. If I spend an hour doing it, I feel like that'd be reasonable. So I'm gonna go and start doing that now and I will check in with you again a little bit later. So I have just finished doing my tie dye for the day and I also did just try the banana bread and it actually is a banana bread this time and it is so, so nice. I think it'll be so good, like cut a slice, put it in the oven on a tray, put some butter on it, have it with some tea. Oh, the perfect 11s, I think it's just so, so nice. And yeah, now I'm just going to actually probably start unwinding because I am a little bit tired. I feel like if you're like super busy all the time, it does eventually sort of catch up with you a little bit. So I'm going to chill a little bit now and I think I'm gonna make some dinner and yeah, just like relax a little bit and I'll show you what I'm getting up to as I do it. So I cannot believe I actually almost forgot to show you the banana bread. Let me go and show you that. Ta-da! So this is the banana bread and it's turned out really, really nicely. The chocolate chips make such a big difference. It's probably the nicest banana bread that I've made. So I'm really happy. And it tastes a bit Christmassy as well because of the cinnamon and the mixed spice. I feel like this is the kind of thing that is super nice when it's like freshly baked as well. So I did eat the end slice while it was warm and it was delish. So I'm just about to take my makeup off and I thought I'd show you what cleansing balm I've been using because I'm really, really enjoying using this one at the moment. So it's the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm by Clinique and this is really, really good. You just need to rub it onto your face basically. It's kind of like a solid, almost like a butter and then as soon as you put it on your face, it just dissolves your makeup. I find that it works best on like my skin. I don't use it on my eyes because it's like, um, like quite a greasy texture. It's not like great to get in your eyes because it can make your vision a bit blurry and that kind of thing. So I don't actually use it on my eyes. However, on like your face, take a foundation, blusher, concealer, all that kind of stuff. It does a really, really good job. So I definitely recommend. And also a little bit goes a really long way, which I really like. Look how cute my neighbor's garden is. I can see these really cute Christmas lights from out of my window. Oh my God, so festive, I love it. It's a little angel, little star, a few little stars. And I can even see their Christmas tree, it's so cute. 